Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to your new favorite channel if you are new. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've been binge watching videos and I had them playing in the background and I don't remember who I was watching but it sounded like that's what they said and it just made me laugh. <laughs> Um, anyway, my name is Yareli, and today I'm going to be working on our budget for this week. I'm going to do it a little bit different than I did last week. Um, so let's get into it. So I am using an Erin Condren a monthly planner. Um, as a reminder, I am an affiliate with Erin Condren, so if you um, purchase from Erin Condren, I would appreciate if you use my link. I am using all of my site income, including my Erin Condren commissions to um, help fund our moving envelope because my husband and I want to buy a house when our current lease is up. Speaking of, so, you know, it just, um, our current lease is up at the end of February and that just seems like forever away, right? So yesterday I went through my calendars and I counted and it's 37 weeks. It's less than 37 weeks when our lease is up, which is just so crazy. Like it seems like it's so far away, but at the same time, like I know that 37 weeks will go by so fast. So, um, I don't know. I was thinking like I'd like to do something fun as a countdown, but I don't know what I should do. So if you have any ideas, like let me know. So if you watched last week's budget with me, that was this one. And I told you guys that I like my husband and I, we combine everything. Like we, we combine everything. All of our money is goes into the same account and we use our money for all of our stuff. But in my brain, I separate it to where my income does our cash envelopes and our sinking funds and his income covers our, our monthly bills. And that is how I normally do it. Uh, but today, I'm going to combine it and see how that goes. Um, it sounds funny to say it because, like I said, we do combine everything. But the reason I'm doing it this way this time is because my husband, his paycheck this week is, is shorter than... Well, it's short because he gets paid two weeks, like, behind. I don't know how to, how to explain that. Basically, his his pay is for two weeks ago and two weeks ago was memorial day so um he is hourly so he didn't get paid for that day so i'm just combining everything here i don't know why <laughs> just because i want to this time so um like i said his will be short but i'm not sure exactly like what the final dollar amount is going to be so i'm just going to guesstimate and i'm going to round down so actually for this part, I'm going to put on a sticky note because that way I can tear it up and, um, or take it off and put in my actual number later. So I'm budgeting for $1,200. Now, so then that means my final number down here is going to be off too. So that's what that's for. Okay, so I did say last week that I like to do, um, I like to give us limits for our each category so that's not going to change today, even though this number is not, is, is different than what our usual income is. And, um, so what I like to do is give us $500 for our bills. And this is for July bills. All of our money for the June bills is already in the account and or has been paid already. So I am now working on saving up the money for all of our July bills. And I like to do $500 for July bills, okay? So the way that we're gonna break it down this week is rent envelope is gonna get 250. Our PUD is our electricity, and I still don't have the final number for that, so I'm gonna put $50 in there this week. Verizon is our cell phones, so that's gonna get $45. Safeco is our renters and auto insurance, and I'm gonna put $50 in that one. Our debt and small bills is basically our car payment and all of the other miscellaneous bills such as like Wi-Fi, um, Apple, I can't think of anything <laughs> off the top of my head, but just all of the other smaller random stuff. And the reason I combined it is because I only have five envelopes, <laughs> so I went, uh, this is just how I decided to break it down. 
And then our bills buffer is not getting anything this week because I think that these numbers here total up to $500. So let's just make sure. Yeah, $500. So the total is 500. And uh, this is new this time. I um, Our bills are less than $2,000 each month, but I figure if I budget $500 every week for bills, then any remaining amount, like any extra, will just go into this bills buffer. And like I said earlier, you want to buy a house. So um, I know that the bills when we get our house are going to be different. Plus, we might need to put down deposit for other things. So that that's where we'll be able to get that money from is from this envelope here, this fund here. So um, yeah, that, that's what that is. It's not getting funded this time, but maybe next week it will be. All right, so for our cash envelopes, and again, um, I give us a $500 limit to fund our cash envelopes, our, our revolving sinking funds, and our long-term sinking funds. So um, usually groceries gets $100. My husband gets $15. Our son is going to get $15. Uh, date is going to get $15. Gas is going to get $60. Child care is going to get $120. I'm going to get $15. Our his and hers is going to get 10 Scratch off last week revealed that we are going to put away $16 this week. And so for a total on our cash envelopes this week is going to be 100 Maybe 366 which means I have $134 left to divide into my revolving funds and the long-term funds. So for church, we're not doing anything. I think there's $25 in there and that's good for now. Costco is gonna get $10. Holidays is not gonna get anything. Gifts is gonna get $30. Um, my dad straight up told us not to get him anything for Father's Day. So right now I'm just saving up for my boss's birthday and then um, after that, I think I'm going to reduce the gifts amount because our gift giving season is over, basically. Um, my birthday is in August, but if you remember back in March, I already bought my birthday present. <laughs> so uh, I don't need to I don't need anything for my birthday. And then we're saving up separately for my son's birthday. Uh, so with with the reduced amount, we'll have enough to be able to buy him his gifts. And then, yeah, we're done with birthdays in our family until um, February. So yeah. All right. Medical is not getting anything and certifications is getting $9. So here we have $49 is going into our revolving sinking funds. So we have $85 left and um, that's going to go into the long-term sinking funds. And I am going to do $10 in Christmas, $5 as always in our anniversary envelope. Legal is going to get $55. Moving gets funded with all of my um, side income. Wedding is getting nothing. Prime is getting $5. And my son's birthday is getting $10. So let me tell you guys a little something here. Yesterday, my son had his nine-month appointment and... Um, you know, I asked her about the formula and I'm not, not being sure if I had enough to get us to his first birthday. And uh, she actually told me just to use up the formula that I have and to not worry about it, that he, that it's fine. You know, he's already transitioning to um, real food. And she said, really, you know, that that's fine. Just use up whatever formula. So that's good. Um, so I won't have to be dropping hundreds of dollars on formula anymore. So um, that's a plus. And then um, you'll see that wedding here is getting nothing. Wedding is for travel expenses to go to my brother's wedding. But we have made a decision that um, I will be traveling to that. My husband and my son will be staying home, which means that we have more than enough here so what i did behind the scenes and i'll show you um when i stuff my sinking funds i actually moved a lot of this money over to the legal 
envelope, which I'll get into that more in detail later, but that's why this is getting zero as well. So uh, yes, <laughs> I'm all for condensing envelopes right now and focusing on the goals. So let's just make sure that we have $85 here. Here we go, $85. So that means 366 plus 49 that goes here and then $85 here. So $500 and that those are the limits that I have set for us in our budget so that we have money to put away in our house savings. So um, $500 for bills plus the $500 for these different binders gives us a total of $1,000. So for our house savings um, right now, it looks like we're going to be able to do $200 this week, which is not bad. Um, so that is it for today's budget, guys. I oh, hi, friends. <laughs> I just filmed my budget with me and I forgot that I was going to do my weekly check-in. So I'm going to quickly insert that here. So this is what it looked like last week. I am just going to go over our expenses for the 5th through the 11th. And as you can see, I had one, two, three, no spend days. Yay. Um, on the 7th, my husband got, uh, I think like a water at a vending machine at work. He was not feeling well that day. And so, um... I, t I just said, man, just get whatever you need because I, I was sick, um, you know, that Saturday. So <laughs> I was like, just get whatever you need to feel better. So he just got himself a water. Um, and then later that day, I went to Walmart and I got some medicine for him. And um, so that was that day. And then jumping over to Thursday, um, I used $10 and I purchased a uh, I forgot what I purchased. <laughs> it wasn't envelopes. It was placeholders. And I ordered those from Cash and Spanglish, um, her shop. Her placeholders are so cute. They have some flowers on them. So I'm excited to get those. And then on Friday, I didn't pack a lunch. So I went to Burger King. I used more of the coupons. Spent $6 there. And then for dinner, we ordered um, Chinese takeout. That was 35 bucks. And then Saturday, I ordered my husband's Father's Day gift. That was $50, and it was on Amazon. He just picked um, a couple things out, and so that's what I got. We went, this is not an order, but that day we went grocery shopping. We spent $50. We still had a lot of the groceries from the week before, so we just bought some extra things just to be able to complete actual meals. And then we... We had lunch. We had Burger King for lunch. Again, we used the coupon, so that was $10. We went to the post office. I needed to send out a thank you for um, one of the Mother's Day cards that I got. So that's that. And then we also went to the movies that day. We went to go see the Jurassic World Dominion movie. And so movie plus um, snacks was $34. That was just for my husband and I. We went to a matinee. Um, the movie was all right. <laughs> you guys, I'm a total like rom-com chick flick type of girl. Like if I'm going to be able to sit and enjoy and watch a movie, it, it just, it needs to be something super light. I, I don't talk about it a lot, but like, um, there are a few things that give me anxiety and, um, movies is one of them. <laughs> I, I just, I tend to keep it light and I like to watch the same movies. <laughs> Um, over and over again as opposed to watching something new so it was nice to get out with my husband but like my heart was racing the whole time I was there <laughs> I had to keep telling myself like it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay um the dinosaurs were super cool so I did enjoy that um but yeah that's part of the reason why I don't like going to the movies one it's expensive and two I just I, I just I can't <laughs> I can't um so anyways that is it for our expenses for that week and not too shabby um we are still doing good with our goals cash only um other than the vending machine my husband using the card for the vending machine everything else has been good um that's been really good for us actually I think I used the card for the Chinese food but I've already put the money back so I'm not gonna beat myself up for that um that's taken care of um planner type purchases I'm still just with this but I am thinking I might pre-order some washi on the 18th oh, I haven't decided yet I really want that washi but I don't know like I want other things more so and by other things I mean saving up for our house so I'm still debating on that 2k subs by August um I don't know we're not in August yet <laughs> 
and so 10 no spend days so far we are at one two three four five and we're about halfway through the month so we're on track for that and then save at least a thousand dollars for the house let me see how we're doing on that so we have one two three four five 550, 570, 590, 595, 600 dollars and then today we're in the budget we have some progress too so I think we're on track to save a thousand dollars this month for the house down payment um but we still have another week to go and so I might reduce some of the amounts just to make sure that we get to the one thousand dollars because that is one of our goals all right, that is my check-in for this week. I just want to say thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. Thank you guys so much for watching our videos. Um, it, it helps out a lot, especially now that we actually have a firm goal that we're working towards. So uh, thank you guys so much for helping us make progress. I appreciate you all, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!